Hello everyone, welcome. This is Sun and Moon Energy. Uh, I go by the name of Sylvie when I'm here reading energy with y'all and I've already done a pre-shuffle of the cards and meditated on the energy and I wanted to do a quick little uh, money reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini for the weekend, uh, a little uh, energy, uh, money energy. And I've already done a pre-shuffle of the decks, and at the bottom we have the Ace of Swords with the Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles, and then Daughter of Cups, or Page of Cups, Nine of uh, Pentacles, and Two of Pentacles. With this energy, I'm just getting, like, something maybe uh, after a long time, like something that you've been waiting on, or someone you've been waiting on. Or maybe an opportunity you've been waiting on is uh, you're finally getting that go ahead, that phone call, that email. But let's see, the sun is going in and out. What messages, spirit, do you have? Four of Cups. What messages do you have for Gemini and their money? Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful. Messages, spirit, or Gemini. This energy. And I do even feel with this, it's like somebody who's kind of like being protective and waiting. And then for, um, like for the payoff here. Let's see. My priest is beautiful. Yeah. I really like this energy so far. Get one more card and then we'll clarify. Thank you. Magician at the bottom of the deck. The strength card, the ace of cups, and the three of cups. Beautiful Gemini. This is amazing energy. I don't know. I'm getting a really um I'm getting a really calm, a really focused. Somebody who's feeling really uh, just in tune with the energy um, around them as far as like, I don't know, there's just like a really calm energy here. It's like very, uh, I don't know, I'm just getting like this eye on the prize energy, if that makes sense. More about this uh, Four of Cups energy here, this Four of Cups, this Four of Cups energy. Because this card too can go kind of a bunch of different ways, and to lead off with it, I feel like it, I don't want to misread it. <laughs> well, I mean, it's kind of... You know, it's too many cards, but I do feel like it's that energy of after you've been waiting for something and being very also like if you've been on this long journey working towards your goal or goals, plural, like best believe you're going to be, um, I'm getting more of a position where you're being protective and less of somebody who's like a rat. I'm almost getting somebody who's like gotta be like really like at night maybe like I don't know you just yeah emperor yeah so this is like more about like yeah you're being uh, very protective but in setting like really uh, ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck it's like I'm almost hearing like you're really it's like you have to have everything in such in such order in such a way and nobody's gonna mess with that in order for you to get to where you need to go it's interesting here we do have a match with the high priestess and the magician 
So we have some fire energy, we have some water energy, we have some earth energy, we have air energy. And I like this because it's like, I think it seems pretty well balanced with the energy. So again, that's what I was saying. I just feel like there's some sort of, it's a very healing energy. Again, this could also be about um, Nine of Cups. Beautiful. I love it. It's like we have this Ten of Pentacles here. Could also be this could also be you waiting for this opportunity that's gonna get you to that nine of cups. <clears throat> Beautiful sun card. Yeah, this is just moving ahead. This is, you know, um, I'm almost getting like after like this is a very dark energy here. And it's very happy. It's like a new beginning energy I'm getting. It's beautiful, bright energy. I'm not even really asking in spirit, it's just clarifying these cards. I feel like there's a partnership coming in here with that Knight of Swords and the Two of Cups. <clears throat> So some air energy and water energy here. It's coming. Something, you know, it's like, it's very, uh, double magician. I just saw the magician. I feel like it's just like, yeah, that Ace of Swords wanted to come out. Thank you. Yeah, I think this is something where, like, <clears throat> maybe it's you or somebody else here, but... Whatever the case may be, your intuition is spot on here with that High Priestess card. I also feel with the Temperance card, it's like you have, if you're waiting on some type of opportunity to come in, I feel like you have put in the work, not only, you know, like in the material creative sense or whatever, but in the spiritual sense, in the emotional se like sense, uh, as far as like who you are as a person. <clears throat> Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This is a really amazing, and like I just feel like this is some really great opportunity here that's coming in. Too many cards. And I almost get with these cards coming out that it's, there was some dark, I feel like there was just some dark energy here, especially because we have the sun card here that I feel like is like coming out afterwards. And with that temperance card, I do feel like there was some type of, oh, sorry. Some type of, um. Something you had to get through. There was something pretty major that you had to get through here. And that could even be with that Emperor card. That could be some type of, um, you know, after... <clears throat> this kind of came out yesterday in this reading, and I, I didn't post it. Uh, I ran that... It was my own fault. The card was full, and I didn't realize it. So I really, like, most of the reading got cut off. <clears throat> But um, it, this energy of somebody winning some type of lawsuit that's like a long, drawn-out battle. I'm not saying that's what this is here, but we have the death card. Well, you know, I did say it was something pretty new, right? So I'm not surprised to see the death card there. I think that spirit just clarifying, like, yes, the sun is after, it's a new beginning because that's what the death card is. You know, it's end of something, and I'm almost feeling like, you know, just talking about, like, a lawsuit energy and how a battle going on, and then the death card with temperance, it's just giving me this energy of, like, yeah, it's over. You don't, and I'll, you know, you don't have to worry anymore, and I feel like it's turning in your favor here. So whatever this is in regards to your money, because you have the ten of pentacles here, with the high priestess card? And the Ace of Swords and the Sun and this Nine of Cups, Emperor. I really do feel there's some, uh, 
And look, Justice card at the bottom of the deck. Yep, Three of Cups. Ten of Swords. Yeah, this is like, wow, Two of Swords in the Chariot. So, yeah, I think this is Spirit saying like, hey, I had, you know, there's a message here. And Sylvie, you did, you know, you got to check the camera before you start recording and make sure the card's not full. But well, here I'm giving you another opportunity. This could also just be a job opportunity too. This doesn't have to be a settlement or any type of lawsuit, um, but it, it does seem like it's leaning towards that. Give us an outcome card for this scenario, this energy, this situation. Outcome card. Beautiful energy here. King of Swords. This is air energy, beautiful. More about this outcome, more about this outcome. Gemini and their money. Woo, this weekend energy. Oh my, Gemini. Beautiful, beautiful. Three cups at the bottom of the deck. It's amazing energy with this King of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. I'm getting this really powerful, and I did say there might be a partnership here, right? It's like somebody coming in with an offer. So I do feel like this combo here is like really nice. This is um, a really great balance of this uh, somebody who's really smart. Again, it's about setting boundaries, being powerful. Um, standing your ground, laying down the law, setting rules, but also at the same time, uh, somebody who I think can um, be a kind person. And then we have this uh, Queen of Pentacles here, so very resourceful, very uh, in tune with nature, in tune with the elements, um, could be somebody who has a family, has children, or wants to, or just somebody who's very loving and caring and nurturing. So it's a travel energy here too as well. Uh, take that how, if that resonates for you in any type of way. This is amazing. Can you give me one more card for this, uh, this power, uh, I almost wanted to say power couple here. Gemini and their money, Gemini and their money. This could just be you embodying both the, these energies, Gemini. This doesn't have to be two people, but we have that two of cups there. With that knight of swords, it just makes me think somebody's coming in with an offer here. But it could just be a partnership. This doesn't have to be romantic, and that's why I would like one card to clarify business or romance. I mean, it could be both, right? Because there's coin here. There's wealth here for sure. There's stability there's longevity, there's pro prosperity, prosperous, you know, um, I feel like uh, enterprise happening here. There's a new, a new way of doing things. Give us a, a card for this couple here that seems to be emerging, this King of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, this partnership, business or romance. I really don't want to keep shuffling. <laughs> Maybe, um, okay, I just heard, like, go to the other deck. Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck there. The Five of Swords and the Star. Could just be business. Give us one card to clarify this. Uh, Five of Wands wanted to show its face and the Six of Swords. Give us um, one card, one card, thank you for this partnership or these, maybe it's not a partnership. One more card to clarify, thank you. Wow, <laughs> the emperor came out again. Wow. I think this is giving me more the energy of this is just you Gemini em embodying the these energies of the King of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. And I think with this Emperor card coming out, this double Emperor, this is really intense energy. It's a major this is 
I would say definitely a major moment in your life with all these major arcana here. And the fact that we have this double emperor, this is heavy fire energy, uh, heavy Aries energy. It's just a very powerful position. Whatever you're coming into here, you're, 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 this is something new for you too, I feel like. Especially with this high priestess here and these double ent this energy is somebody who this ace of swords, very powerful person. So I don't know what you're doing, Gemini. What you're if you're getting some so you're going after some sort of um, position with um, in, within a business or this is your own business. This is amazing energy. This is uh, heavy wealth energy. Heavy. Uh, Somebody who's, uh, again, with this, like, high-ranking individual. And you also, you know, you have th this a lot of insight. You're very smart. Very intelligent. Mental agility is on point. Oh, hi, baby. Okay, well, on that note, I was going to say, um, I was going to call reading here. So, <laughs> let me just wanted to say hi to everybody. Hi, babe. All right, and I just want to say thank you all so much for uh, watching, liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, all of it. I appreciate you so much, really. Quimby really wanted to say hello. I'm going to knock my drink over. Um, yeah, with the Knight of Pentacles, I just want to throw in here with that Knight of Pentacles and the Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck with the Three of Pentacles and that magician still holding strong. It's like you're making this happen, whatever this opportunity is here. Um, you're to grow your wealth and to be put into this power position here. Um, you're really manifesting this for sure. All right, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you all. Have a great one. See you in the next one. Bye.